अरे दोस्तों आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गेट एग्जाम यहाँ पर आपको एलिजिबिलिटी कट ऑफ वेकेंसी सिलेबस सैलरी एंड ऑल द डिटेल्स विल बी प्रोवाइड इन दिस वीडियो लेट स्टार्ट द कम्प्लीट डिटेल एनालिसिस ऑफ द गेट एग्जाम एंड गेट एग्जाम इज ग्रेजुएट आपट्यूड टेस्ट इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू गेट एन एडमिशन इन टू प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आई आई टीज एन आई टीज ट्रिपल आई टीज इंक्लूडिंग वेरियस स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड ऑल्सो वेरियस प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफर द एडमिशन इन टू एम टेक एम एस एम ई पी एच डी एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन अप्लाई टू द पी एस यू जॉब्स इन इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो इन अब्रॉड यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाई यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर एम एस प्रोग्राम्स राइट दिस इज द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ द गेट एग्जाम यू विल गेट वेरियस अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन इंडिया एंड वेरी फ्यू अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देर इन अब्रॉड but in india you have the lot of opportunities once you write the gate exam and qualify and if you get a good uh, gate score or rank you will be eligible to the uh, many opportunities you may get admission into prestigious institutes and also you have a chance to get a job directly after the btech uh, in a uh, psus the eligibility is the one of the advantage for you like yahan par aapko eligibility jo criteria hai there are two things age has no bar and eligibility is uh, the you just need to uh, have the third year degree so that the score that you write uh, that you get in third year also eligible after final year so three years validity is there so from third year onwards you can start writing so once you uh, call uh, come into third year you can apply for the uh, gate exam you can get a good gate score in third year so that you will be having uh, the good opportunities like you can focus on placements in final year in case if you get the rank in third year itself and um minimum qualification is the 10 plus 2 plus 3 uh, that is compulsory for uh, uh, ongoing students and accepted degrees like engineering or technology architecture science commerce arts wit you see there are a lot of papers are available in the gate no age barrier so you are allowed to write even after 10 years of the degree you obtain obtain paper selection flexibility you have it like you can if you have done degree from so and so uh, engineering stream but you can also apply for other engineering streams if you are interested so that's a one more advantage of the paper selection and exam pattern is uh, going to have 3 hours duration and mode is computer based test and total number of question 65 so almost you have the less than 3 minutes on average if you look at for every question so you should be very quick in answering but it's far better than compared to you know other exams but only in terms of time and question but the depth of the question and level of the question is going to be difficult than the other competitive exams so that's why you have lot of time to solve each question so just by reading and remembering you can't answer the gate questions so more than uh, 20% like if you look at eight uh, more than 20 it means uh, at least you see 30 to 40% of the uh, gate questions you need a good understanding of the subjects now the papers that you have 30 different disciplines like mathematics computers electrical electronics mechanical civil likewise there are so many disciplines you have you can choose any paper to apply the you right now you are allowed to choose two papers if you are interested you can apply to only one paper uh, the advantage of uh, preparing uh, for two papers is if you don't qualify in one of them if you qualify in other or other then you are eligible to get admission to now uh, the distribution of the questions like 10 questions are given to general aptitude the total you have 100 marks right so out of 100 marks the 55 you have the subject specific you look at 10 plus 55 you have overall 65 questions in the uh, get exam and in that you already know 15 marks uh, out of the 10 questions but 15 marks is given to general aptitude and 13 is mentioned for mathematics and 72 your subject uh, technical specification right your subject specific 
Now, git cutoff, if you look at uh, based on, you know, uh, various previous year uh, observation that you have, the minimum qualifying is uh, like 25%. Uh, then, under the average, if you see, the 33% will be given to qualifying for general, but uh, other categories will change. And 40% if you have, like out of 100, if you get 40 marks, you are in competition, like you can get good colleges, like IITs or NITs or IIITs somewhere. So this is where you have the trend. So try to get more than 25% to qualify, but you should be nearby 30 or 33 to uh, ensure that you are qualified based on your category. And 40 or 40 above can give you uh, good opportunities in either... Uh, prestigious institutes or you may get even PSC job and if you look at uh, the previous years uh, from 23 to 25 for computer science the 23 the cutoff for general is 32.5 and 24 27.6 25 year year 2025 29.2 and it's not always same right you know some years you know CS is uh, highest and some years if you see the AC is highest in some years like E if you see the year it's almost same but me if you look at a 33 here in 2025 and civil you have almost same 29 is highest so there is you know a trend says that the 25 is a minimum and on and average if you look at the 27 28 is there highest if you look at the 33 is highest uh, overall right so this so far what we have observed in the last three years and the one advantage that you have with the gate score is here you PSU recruitment hai to, through gate score. And the PSU recruitment, PSUs, they recruit through gate score, but they also do some other uh, screening process like shortlisting. First thing is based on gate score, but later you will be called if you are among the uh, top selection, like if uh, up to, uh, let's say, uh, top under ranks if nobody applied so other people will get the chance right similar way based on the number of applications they receive they will screen first and once they do a uh, short list personal interviews they may call and also gd round and finally you may have the selection and you may have sometimes medical tests and other kind of things which will be easy for you the first thing is short link is short listing is very important for that you need a good gate score so if you get like below a 500 rank or above 700 or 650 score there's high probability to get into the psus and the whole gate syllabus depends on uh, three things one is the general aptitude the other is mathematics third is your core discipline subjects so based on these three sections you will be having the gate exam right so gate syllabus is uh, all around these three different sections and the weightage distribution depends on you know how each subject is going to be important for your stream but you know aptitude and mathematics distribution is fixed but your subject specific each subject how many marks are provided that depends on the year year to year it may change uh, when you look at the subject specific or aapko gate is you know just like a game changer for your life uh, one is you will have very good career opportunities uh, when you get a good rank and get exam so one is like you will be eligible for psus along with higher education so now if you are not interested for job then you can go for mtech or phd then you can look for the better opportunities and the advantage of this is expanded opportunities so really you know uh, no need to worry about the placements in college or you know or aapko koi attention nahi lena hai shuru se first year second year se aapko uh, gate par focus kiya to third year itself you will get the gate rank or aapko final year mein you can explore more for placements and other exams so you get more advantage but if you are late then try uh, gate exam in final year if you are so late that you are, did not get any opportunity in college to aap wah bhi bete ke baad bhi try kar sakte a lot of people uh, they crack the gate exam after final year and they got very good opportunities in iits or other institutes and you need a strategic preparation like you can't do in a one day or one month so you need at least four to six months of the focused uh, preparation so which can give you the good score and the this is going to be the really uh, the lifetime achievement for you once you get a good gate score 
in academically and industry oriented you can excel or uh, if you get once gate rank so there are so many proven because of the gate and in case if you want to settle uh, your career in the same field then gate exam will open the door for IITs or NITs or triple IITs to do master or PhD in case if you want to do job in your core stream the PSUs also recruit uh, the candidates with the help of gate score so I welcome you to prepare the gate exam so all the best for your preparation and in case if you are uh, looking for the any support then geeks for geeks will help you to crack the gate exam and we are there to do uh, provide the training for the gate exam and all the best for your gate exam preparation Jai Hind.